So next one is the skull fracture. So what are the different type of the skull fractures? So here we have to understand, uh, depends upon the appearance of the skull fracture. So it is called as, the name you can call as the linear fracture, depressor fractures, a diastatic fractures and basilar fractures. Linear fracture means here is going to be like a linear, like a line, one line structure is going to get the fracture. Depression means if any hit directly, the part is going to be go inside, becomes the shallow. And also diastasis fractures is mainly affects the suture area, especially in the infants. And also basilar fracture is going to be the base of the skull is going to be affected. So we are going to discuss what type of all the type of skull fractures here. The first one is the linear fracture. So this linear fracture, so break in the continuity of the bone. So that means if you see here, the linear fracture, we are going to see only lacerate, like we are going to see the one line in the fracture in the uh, skull. So it appears in the uh, thin lines on the x-rays. So if you see here, so it's going to be like a one line we can see here, or maybe we can see is the fracture, the line is going to, we can observe here. So these are going to be the, the linear fracture. So full thickness through the bone. So it's going to get the, we can find the, we can, the, how much the thickness we can find in the x-ray. The half little significance, except when it runs uh, through. So sometimes it's uh, difficult to find the linear fractures, but this type of conditions, if it's not severe symptoms, so we can, uh, like a management will be, just wait and see the management. That means if no complications, you have to wait and see, it's automatically it's going to heal. But in case of other complications, vascular channels, venous sinus screws, iron sutures. So we have, sometimes we cannot find anywhere the fractures. In those conditions, we have to check any vascular channel problem. Our venous sinus screw, our suture areas, we have to observe thoroughly. Then we can easily uh, find out where is the fracture in the linear fracture. And also next one is the depressed skull fracture. So depression skull fracture is going to be depression. So that means uh, if it is like, if it is a fracture, if the force is happened to the, at one particular side, so the both sides are going to get the fracture. So this is going to go is, uh, is away, the, away from the continuity to the, from the skull bone. So the broken piece of the skull bone is pressed towards the, or embedded in the brain. So it's going to towards the brain after the fracture. So here the neurological deficiencies are going to be happening and also may chance to get the dural tear. So the, the dura mater is going to get the injury. So it gets uh, is hematoma and also infection in case of the depressed skull fractures. So here you can see the depression. So it's because of the pressure, bone fragments are going to close to the brain. So that is called as the depressed fractures. And also the another fracture is called as the diastatic fractures. So the fractures are going to be happening at the suturing areas. We can see the coronal sutures and also frontal sutures and also occipital sutures. So here is, so if any, the like separations in between the uh, sutures, so it is called as the diastatic fractures. So this most commonly seen in case of the infants, if anybody get injury. So these diastatic fractures, suture lines are traumatic suture separations. So the sutures are going to be separated, most commonly affected newborns and also infants. So because of in those uh, like infants and also newborn babies, these sutures are not fused completely. So they may chance to get the, the suture separations. And also most common is going location is, is a lambdoid and also sagittal suture. So here this part is going to be the lambdoid and also here is going to be in the, the sagittal suture is going to be affected. So it's a more than two separation is that is the SM, uh, SMET. So it's going to be, if and we are going to call, if it is more than 2 mm of the suture separation, it is called as the diastasis fracture. So this is the different type of the fractures. So this is, the, and also next one is the basilar fracture. If you see the basilar fractures, so three types of the basilar fractures, we can see the base of the skull. So here is going to be the anterior cranial fossa, anterior one, and also middle cranial fossa. This if you fracture, if anything fracture in the middle, is called as the middle cranial fossa fractures, and also posterior canal, uh, posterior cranial fossa. So if any fracture in the these sides, so it depends upon the involvement of the fossa, the cranial fossa. So we called as the the name itself we called as anterior or middle or posterior. 